And what started off as a bad day turned into one of the greatest video game hauls we've ever had on the channel. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is, of course, Matt Cart with me, my beautiful wife, Veronica. Go to garage sales and thrift stores to find things to resell on our eBay store. And today we're going to be going to the Goodwill bins and hopefully we find some great stuff to resell on eBay and also maybe things to collect like action figures and Lego. That being said, guys, let's get hunting. There was a bunch of media bins left from the night before, so I went picking through to find any video games, and honestly, nothing in there. But we do get a great video game haul later in the day. The first bin to actually show up, the first fresh bin, was a rummage bin, and unfortunately, I didn't really find anything in there. However, someone else, who we are friends with at the Good Old Bins, found a Lego bag, and it was a Star Wars Lego bag, and I think it's actually the Battle on Mustafar, which is actually a retired Lego set right now, with two minifigures, including Anakin and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So a fantastic score at the beginning of the day and we had nothing to do with it our friend was gracious enough to hand it to us so as i was picking through that clothing bin um one of our friends at the bins gave me this bag of lego and there is actually a few minifigures in here and both of them are star wars it looks like this is the battle in revenge of the sith with anakin and obi-wan kenobi as you can see in my earth and that had a pretty good score at the beginning of the day and we didn't even pick it someone just gave it to us so awesome the next two bins that come out during the day was a massive plush bin followed by a clothing bin and i didn't really find much apart from one wrestling t-shirt i was not having a good day at the goodwill bins i ended up grabbing a wwe shirt here from that clothing bin not bad made in 2013 so not vintage but I like the fact that it's double-sided here, so might be a decent flip online, maybe cost my Finally, after one hour at the good old bins, the first toy bin showed up and wait till you see what we got. It was nothing. There was nothing in the bins. Ridiculous! But afterwards, the clothing bin did show up and we found one item. Someone actually left this in one of the bins. I'm kind of surprised. It's double XL, maybe that's why, but it's a nice Dickies jacket here. Not bad, not as good as Carhartt, but you know, considering how bad today is, I think we're gonna take this. The next bin to show up is a rummage bin, and I actually did find a stack of Pokemon cards wrapped in a rubber band. There really wasn't anything good in there, but I'll show you all the cards at the end of the video. After this, we took it as a sign to get the heck out of there and maybe try a thrift store on the way home. And boy, was I happy we did that because we had the craziest video game haul I've ever had at a thrift store in my entire life. Okay, so I've been coming to this win literally for the past like five, six months, and I never find any good video games here ever. Today, we found this gigantic stack of video games. So I'm going to go through it right now quickly to see which ones are complete, if there's any games missing, etc. So let's figure this out. So Spyro the Dragon. Is it complete? Yeah. Oh, so this actually comes off. So not in the best condition of the case, but it does come with the manual. NBA Live. I'm hoping this is actually another game. Is it another game? Ah, uh, no, it's NBA Live. Okay, so I might actually pass on this one right here, unless it's like worth like a crazy amount of money, but probably won't be since it's a sports game. So let's put that aside. Medal of Honor for PlayStation Black Label, and it's missing its game. See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. It's quite possible. Okay, so this one, probably gonna pass in that. We have Cool Borders 4, and this one's got NBA Live in it. <laughs> okay, so probably gonna pass in that one. This is Triple Play in a Spyro case. Uh, okay, interesting. So, yeah, I know, it's the same game, I think. No, it is, yeah. yeah. So, I'm gonna pass on that. Star Wars Phantom Menace. Ooh, it's complete. That is pretty sweet. Cyber Tiger, is Cyber Tiger the golf game in here? Yes, it is, and it's complete as well. Toy Story 2, let's see. Chococo Racing? Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this for now. I'm gonna have to do some research on that and see if it's a good game. Oh my god, my favorite game of all time, Spider-Man for the PlayStation 1. Literally, I played this for weeks and weeks on end. Is it You idiot! <laughs> Think, Eddie. Think back to that day. Is it complete? <laughs> oh, yes it is. Oh, it's pretty clean too. There's a few scratches, but that's actually not bad for a game this old. This should play for sure. Definitely gonna test that one. So we have Atlantis the Lost Empire here. Oh my god. Yeah, that is so cool. Okay, so that one's complete too. Oh my goodness, we have Ape Escape here. And it's complete. Are you kidding me? This is so insane. I'm double check and see, there might be like an extra game behind. We have, there it is, Chocobo Racing. So maybe this one switched up. Okay, so now I know. That, where was it, the Chocobo Racing? I'll have to figure it out, but this one, we'll keep it since we have the game for it. So that's the case for it. Oh my god, Harry Potter. 
And the Philosopher's Stone, is it complete? Yes, it is. Oh, yes. Oh, no. We have Superbike 2000. I believe that we actually saw this game, didn't we? Maybe we didn't. Okay, no, it's in here. Superbike 2000. Eh, not bad. Racing game. Monsters, Inc. Yes. Monsters, Inc. And it's complete. Literally, my wife is just looking at me like, who cares, dude? This is so exciting to me. Like, we're, we're potentially looking at hundreds of dollars in games. You're going to spend maybe 25 bucks. So Spyro, Year of the Dragon, not the best case. Ooh, the case is cracked and this is actually loose, but it is complete, so that is pretty sweet. Okay, let's put that back in there. All right, sweet, now we got, oh my God, Bug's Life. Dude, I feel like a kid right now, this is amazing. Bug's Life, complete greatest hits. What else we have? Little Mermaid 2, why not? Why not? Little Mermaid 2, look at that, and it is complete. This is why I might have to go back and find if there's any more, because um, there might be in the CD section too, the Emperor's New Groove here. Yes, it's complete as well. Double disc? No, just a single. Okay, we're getting down to the wire now. We have Sheep Raider. It's actually a fairly expensive game. I already looked this one up quickly. Very cool, it's complete as well. And we get Gran Turismo 2. Yes, it's looking complete. Dude, are you kidding? This is so cool. I can't believe this. Like, guys, what is going on? So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with these, but all of these we're gonna grab for sure today. What a freaking unreal day. Look at this. Look at all of these video games here. Unreal. I am so thankful that we hit up that thrift store after the terrible bins today. It's funny, even though it was terrible, it was still okay. Honestly, even a bad day at the Google bins is still not horrible. Like you're paying by the pound and here in Calgary, it's $1.35 for a pound, which is really good. Anyways, let's go over everything that we have here, starting with what we got at the Wins thrift store, which is unbelievable. A incredible haul of PlayStation 1 games, as you can see right here. So we got Little Mermaid 2, two Spyro games here, Monsters Inc. We have Looney Tunes, Sheep Raiders. We have the New Groove, Emperor's New Groove for PlayStation, Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone, Ape Escape, the most expensive game. I was in shock when I found out that this was like 130 plus dollars Canadian, unbelievable. We also have Star Wars, The Phantom Menace. We have a Tiger Woods golf game for some reason. It's only worth like $14 or so, but you know, I only spent $3 each. And honestly, it's getting rarer and rarer to find PlayStation 1 games out in the wild. We have Gran Turismo for PlayStation, PlayStation. My favorite game of all time, the original Spider-Man for PlayStation 1. I used to play this game all the time back in the day. I love it. All the suits that you can get in it, all the villains you fight. It's an incredible game. We have Atlantis as well, another Disney game, another game here, Bugs Life. All of this, I spent $45 on all of these video games here and just eyeballing it right now, I can tell you for a fact that it's definitely over three hundred dollars probably between three to four hundred dollars might even be more than that honestly what well, probably the best forty five dollars i've ever spent on video games well i don't know the kirby game i spent like uh, 50 cents on that was like worth what 200 plus dollars so never mind that's but pretty good very good we also got some clothing items as you can see here two hats a super bowl hat patriots versus the falcons we also have a seattle mariners hat we found this wrestling shirt here at the good old bins as well we got a dickies jacket because why not Spent maybe like 50 cents on it. It's probably about like a 20 to like $30 jacket. My wife found this Tasmanian Devils. Nice cooking apron here, very vintage. She also found another Aritzia dress, or is that a squirt? Okay, so we also found some Pokemon cards that I haven't went through on camera yet. So found this at on a, in a rummage bin, at the, actually at the good old bin, it's kind of wild. It's like the second time I found Pokemon cards. So let's see if we got anything crazy. So these are mostly newer era Scarlet and Violet stuff because it's got these silver gray borders. But let's see, is there any ultra rares in here? Hypno, Ndidi, Rare Candy, nothing. Ooh, no, we got Slacking and Scizor there. So unfortunately, uh, nothing old and nothing ultra rare. So I'm just gonna set these over here. Now let's get back to the stuff. So we have this as well. Beginning of the day, our friend, I don't know how they found this. I didn't even, I was in the same rummage bin. I couldn't find this. But he found this, it's a battle at Mustafar from Revenge of the Sith. It's actually our tired set right now. These two guys on their own sell for like 38 Canadian if you just sell both of these guys. The whole set is around $40 Canadian pre-owned, 40 to $45. So it looks like it's probably complete. It's a very small set. So if it is complete, it's not bad. Probably the best thing we got at the Goodwill bins today. But nonetheless, what an absolutely insane haul. I was shocked at what we found at that thrift store. I've been there so many times looking for Jelly Cats, Pokemon Plush, 
Lego, and sometimes video games, and I never find any good video games. I've found decent Jelly Cats before, I've found decent Lego stuff there before, nothing crazy, not as good as the bins, but I've never found anything like that when it comes to video games there. So unbelievable score today. Thanks again for sticking with me through this entire trip, even though the bins was not very fun, but the video games. Seriously, let me know down below in the comment section what the best video game we got from today was. And I will see you guys in the next one. And remember, may your carts always be full.